Hi everybody, Mark here from Illawarra Education Foundation. Thanks for joining me. Today we will be looking at the humble equal signs and we're going to talk about what it really means in maths. Please make sure you've gone to our website, you've actually downloaded and printed the worksheet that will go with this tutorial and make sure you've got it with you with a pencil and we'll make a start. Hi everybody, Mark here, Illawarra Education Foundation. Now, let me ask you something. Have you ever tried to balance a ruler on your finger? What happens if you don't have your finger in the middle of the ruler? Have a look. No, nope. it's not going to stay there. Let's try this side. No, that's not even. But when you get it just in the right spot, it will sit there balanced on its own. Now why is that? Hopefully you know it's because this side of the ruler is the same length as this side of the ruler. So when we say it's balanced, both sides are even. The weight the length of the side is the same. Now today, we're going to be using that knowledge to understand what the equal sign means. I want to thank um, the people that wrote in asking for me to explain this lesson today. So this is for you. Um, I've actually taught in the past a lot of kids who have been learning from kindergarten how to write sums. But when I asked them, what does the equal sign mean? They actually can't tell me. So if you're not sure what the equal sign is, please stick around. This is a short lesson that I really um, hope will help you today. Now let's have a look. I have a picture here of some scales. Now these scales are just like what I was doing there with the ruler. We have a fulcrum in the middle and we have these two baskets. Now it is even here. In other words, the weight in this basket is the same as the weight in the other basket. Each half is the same. And folks, that's exactly what equal signs means. Equals simply means this side of the sum is the same as this side of the sum. Let me show you with some examples. Most of us are used to writing some simple algorithms like this. 2 plus 5 is equal to, or 2 plus 5 equals 7. And we don't really pay much attention to what the equals means. What we're saying is 2 plus 5 is 7. That is the same 7 ones as 7 ones. It's equal. Now, of course, I can swap them around. When we write our sums, we can actually put it in either side. It doesn't matter. Let's look at another example. The second example is 9 ones is equal to 9 ones. 9 is the same as 9. Pretty, pretty straightforward, isn't it? Um, but again, this is really basic stuff I want to actually explain to you today. Let's now expand on 9 is the same as 9. Let's try 8 plus 1 is 9 is equal to 9. Now, this side of the sum, 8 ones and 1 1, is equal to 9. But we don't have to always write it this way. 
we might decide to say that 8 plus 1 is equal to 12 take away 3. 9 is equal to 9. And we might even want to put the answer at the start or on this side of the algorithm. 9 is equal to 12 minus 3. And we might decide to put in a multiplication answer. 3 threes is equal to 12 take away 3. So long as, remember the equal sign is the fulcrum of the scales. It is telling us that this side is equal, the same as the other side. It's really important that we understand this because as our students move into more difficult maths, in particular um, equations and using algebra, we need to understand that equals is balance because as, as our maths becomes more complex, they will be able to move things around, move numbers and things around in the equations so that we can keep the balance. Let's try another example. Let's try 80. I want to have 80 on this side of the, of the uh, equation, of this side of our sum, and 80 on this side. 8 tens, yep, that's 80. And there we have 80. It is equal. 8 tens equals is the same as 80. And we can try, instead of putting 80, we might put 8 tens is the same as 90 take away 10. So I really hope that helped you to understand the importance of the basics of maths, the importance of understanding what the equal sign means. And of course, it means balance. Please stick with me. Please get your worksheet. It's on the website. We're now going to go through this now together. Grab yourself a pencil. So, of course, let's recap what we learned. Remember, equal sign is saying that this side of the sum of the equation is equal to the other side. So, let's have a look. We're actually going to be together using our pencil to actually uh, link a line to join the two equal sides together. So, let's start with the first one. 3 times 5. What's the answer? 15? There's 15. Let's join 3 fives is equal to, is balanced with 15. Let's do the next one. I'm going to be changing colors so that you hopefully won't get too confused. 7, take away 1. Answer? 6. Now, I haven't written the straight answer 6. I've put in 6 times 1, which is 6. Next one. 4 times 10. Answer? 40. See if you can find that on your sheet. Next one, 12 take away 7, answer, 5, and 2 plus 3 is equal to 5, so 12 take away 7 is equal to 2 plus 3. 100 take away 20. Answer? Hope you got 80. What's half of 14? Come up with 7. A few more to go. 9 times 3. 9 threes are 27. And I haven't written 27. I've actually done another algorithm, 3 times 9. Of course, multiplication 
if you change them around, it's the same answer. 9 times 3 is equal to, is balanced with, is the same as 3 times 9. Two more. 30 plus 12. Did you come up with 42? And the last one, 4 plus 16. 20. Thank you so much for watching today's short tutorial on what the equal sign means. Please feel free to share this video, please like it, and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for all the people that have been sending words of support and also suggestion for videos. Please stick around. The next video that I'll be explaining will be about less than and greater than. Thanks for watching.